Welcome to another edition of Inside the Film Room, presented by Microsoft Surface. Bob Papa, two-time Super Bowl champion Carl Banks. We're going to take a look at Giants' third-round draft pick, Jalen Hyatt. And Carl, he had 23 catches this year, averaged 17 yards a catch, and he brings a lot of big playability. Well, not only does he bring big playability here, Bob, as wide receiver, but what he does, he brings problems for a defense, meaning... If you've got to have safety help and he's on the other side of the hash mark, you're probably not going to be able to get over and help. And you'll see with the speed of Jalen Hyatt, you'll see he's got one guy he's got to run by here, and the safety is supposed to come over and help. He just outruns the leverage. Now, if you stop it there, the safety's too shallow. He's already past the safety, and the safety's intersect point is there. So he gives you that but he's also a pure catcher of the football. We're going to take a look at him some more in action. And obviously the Giants got the ball down the field to him a lot, but he also was able to make some contested plays. Well, he makes contested plays. Again, they get the ball down, they can get the ball to him, but he also makes the other receivers better because teams have to respect not only his speed, because he's not a decoy, he's a legitimate pass-catching threat. And let's take a look here again. He's at your top of your screen on a crossing route. So let's go back. Not necessarily a straight line runner as some people thought he would be. He's facing press coverage here. Good release off the line of scrimmage. And now he has to go across the field. Again, he out leverages the entire defense. Again, they have a safety in the middle of the field here, Bob. And it's just like watching a car run by you and you can do nothing about it. The center field safety has to pick him up right about here. And he just outruns it. And you'll see the safety come back in the picture late. And he caught a ball, kept his feet in bounds. I'm going to take a look at some more of Jalen High in action. You can see that top line speed as he kind of takes off. He really creates separation. Well, he creates separation whether it's vertical or horizontally. He gets it. He's a really good route runner. And you'll see a little bit more of the subtleness of his route running here at the bottom. Gives a little stutter go. And, you know, the interesting thing about this play, and I'm actually giving a little something away here, when he starts to run the comeback routes, he's going to be even more dangerous because that, that route they're respecting, that stutter, and now that little stutter he gives them, he's buying by five yards. And, again, take a look at the safety. They know they have speed on the field. You've got a safety on the hash mark. Drop into the middle of the field, he looks at him, and he's too late to get over. But just take a look at the stutter step that they do respect when he starts to run comeback routes. That's just going to be even more for a defensive back to look at. Like, if that turned into a comeback route, he's going to have a first down. But he goes stutter go, and he's gone. Here he is again. Now he's got to weave through the defense. But he doesn't slow down. You'll see him running a crossing route. They're putting a lot of people in the area. He still gets by quick. So this defense was designed to kind of disrupt the crossing, right? Hyatt knows where he has to go with the football. He sees defenders. There are a lot of guys here, guys designed here, and guys designed here, just so that they don't allow an easy crosser. But he finds this opening, and he just accelerates through it. And nobody's around him again. And he makes sure he gets both feet down and on the ground. So uh, that's a look at Jalen Hyatt, Carl. And um, just in wrapping up with Hyatt, your thoughts on an area in which Hyatt needs to build upon in the offseason? Well, I think he just has to continue to improve his route running. We haven't seen a lot because the ball was not thrown to him a whole lot by circumstance. But I think if he just continues to evolve – his route tree, no one's seen. We have not seen the best of what this kid can do. So he only has what he's put on film. Anything that has not been put on film is going to take a lot of the defenders by surprise. And the quarterback's got to get it out early. Yes. Don't wait for him to be open. That's exactly right. Throw him open, and he will learn how to draw some defensive pass interference sure. penalties on underthrown balls. That's a look at Jalen Hyatt inside the film room, presented by Microsoft Surface.